Have you ever wanted to create an image that looks like it's cut directly from a movie scene? And I mean a realistic scene with action, details, and stunning graphics. Well, I have just the thing for you today. This is what I like to call a stunning film director's prompt that you'll use in ChatGPT and then combine that with either Midjourney or Leonardo AI and you'll be blown away. And many thanks to the creator of this prompt. Here he is right here, Linus, who I reached out to and he gave me the permission to share this prompt with all of you today because it's simply too good not to share. And we're gonna go through step by step exactly how to use this prompt and create stunning imaging graphics just like this. So here's the prompt right here. Now this is actually in my prompts database in Airtable. Now check this out. It's a very, very long prompt, but don't worry about that because there will be a link in my description that will actually take you to the page that you see right now on your screen. And I have this prompt listed right here. It's called Stunning Director's Prompt. All you have to do is just click to open and expand this box and you can copy and use this prompt for yourself. Now you'll wanna make sure you stick around specifically for this prompt because if you don't follow the directions step-by-step step in order, this prompt isn't gonna work. But be amazed to the how awesome this prompt really is when you follow the instructions from prompt one and then go all the way to the completion to the very last prompt in addition to the follow-up prompts in between. You'll be impressed with the final image that this created for you. So again, you'll go to this page right here and then you can copy this prompt specifically how it is and make sure you follow the directions step by step and we'll do just that right now. So take a look at this. I think it's important to explain exactly how this prompt is supposed to be used. Now, here is where he explains how this prompt works. It says, use ChatGPT to help you write the best mid-journey prompts by using this simple and powerful prompt. By combining dynamic prompting with ChatGPT, we can create some really interesting outputs. And so I can expand the first part of the prompt we're gonna use. This is it right here. It's gonna generate a positive U, meaning ChatGPT, a negative U, and a negotiator U. And that's gonna create three aspect personalities for ChatGPT. And this is where it comes up with the perfect prompt. As we go on to the next step, you can see how this is determined to be advanced prompting. It's gonna create all these different elements and aspects over here on the right hand side, simply by copy and pasting this prompt exactly how it is. And then as I scroll down, you can see some of the other prompts that are included within this big prompt. I'm gonna show you exactly how to utilize this prompt step by step, and we're gonna do it in real time. But ultimately, the final result looks just like this. You're gonna get amazing type of results that are gonna be a cinematography, very scenic style image like this one right here. This looks incredibly realistic. And then you can see the actual prompt that he used right here. And then here are a few more examples of what he made with this specific prompt. And then you can also see you're gonna get something that looks like this, a very good scenic, realistic type of movie set type image. All you have to do is just click to open and expand it. And prompt number one is the very first thing we're gonna copy and paste first. Now, once you have that copied and pasted in, you could see ChatGPT's response right here. Let's begin the internal dialogue. So you can see it has the positive you, the negative you, negotiator you, and it does it again, positive, negative, negotiator you. So once ChatGPT is done with this first part of the prompt, head back over here, and now it's time to copy the second part of the prompt. So there's the second part of the prompt. Now head back over here to ChatGPT and paste that in. And so once I pasted this prompt in, you can see right here, this is typically a director's card format. Would you agree? There's the prompt I pasted in, and then you can see how ChatGPT agrees that yeah, this is the provided for format resembling a director's card. Perfect, this is exactly what we're looking for. Prompt three, using a similar format, I wanna create a new description of an image. Copy this part in prompt three. Now keep in mind, anything you see here within the bracket of text, you can completely take out and replace it with your own. And then once that's pasted in, you can see ChatGPT provides this information right here. Now we're gonna go to what really matters, the follow-up prompt right here. We're basically asking it to think step-by-step. Step. So here it is on the top. Let's think step-by-step. Step. What is the most efficient way to ideate new descriptions based on the previous information I want us to improve. And then again, ChatGPT provides all this information. Now, follow up prompt two, copy and paste this part right here. Now let's create another description of an image of a car chase set in the cyberpunk world in a neon lit city environment. Take everything above into account. You're now gonna enter it as a follow up prompt in prompt two, and you can basically be a little bit more detailed with the environment that you want the prompt specifically to be. Once you paste that in, head right back over to ChatGPT, and then you can see here's my prompt. Now let's try to create another description of an image of a car chase. And then here is what ChatGPT does for you. Now, finally, we have a prompt at the very end, right underneath here is a description. Now, here's the actual prompt, but that prompt is actually a little bit too long. So let's just ask ChatGPT one more question to get it to condense the prompt one more time as the final step. Prompt number four, 
write it out in a simple format like initial examples. That's all you have to do. Okay, so now I put that prompt in at the very top and ChatGPT does it all again. Visual style, it continues with the same genre. And then here we go, right down here is the very last part and the final prompt right here. Get ready for an adrenaline pumping car chase in the cyberpunk world. Now let's head over to Mid Journey and copy and paste this prompt and see what the final product looks like. Okay, so now I took that prompt and put them both in Mid Journey and Leonardo AI. So over here on Mid Journey, here's the image right here. This image looks pretty good. This is the cyberpunk with a neon lit city. Now let's go over to Leonardo AI and see what this did for me right here. Leonardo AI also looks very good. So now here is perhaps the most important part of the prompt. You've done all this work and you don't want to have to redo this prompt all over again, specifically if you want to create a new scene or if this prompt didn't get it specifically and exactly how you wanted it. Why go through all the work again? So now what you want to do is follow this step exactly like this to just create a whole new different topic, subject, or description. So back over here in the chat GPT, here's the very last portion of the prompt we just made with the cyberpunk car. Once that prompt is done, here is the next part of the prompt that you want to add to it. Now don't forget, I also have this over here on this page right here. It says to change the topic, subject, description, just use this prompt right here. Let's think step by step what is the most efficient way to ideate new descriptions based on the previous information and then you're going to enter in your next prompt in this case this is where i made the barbie prompt that's all you have to do so back over here on chat gpt i copied and pasted this prompt in let's think step by step it's basically saying what's the most efficient way to ideate new descriptions based on the previous information here's what happens chat gpt just spews out all this information right here steps one through six so then the next thing you want to do is just copy and paste your next prompt so in this case what i chose to do was come back over here to linus's twitter page and I kind of wanted to duplicate what he did with these cinematic shots right here. These look extremely realistic and these look very impressive. And so I kind of wanted to just go based off of that. What prompt was used to create these type of stunning images right here? And so what I did was I went back over here and I said, okay, here's the prompt he used. Let's see if ChatGPT can follow the prompt format from this. And so the prompt format from this is creating a cinematic scene from year movie genre, plug all this information in just like you see on your screen right use all this information by plugging in whatever you want so for example you can create a scene from any year you want a movie genre movie name in this case i use barbie but you could do something like star wars or you can use something like avatar whatever you want and it's going to create that genre in the form of a cinematic scene for you just like this so if I go back over to ChatGPT, this is exactly what I did. I said, a cinematic scene from 2023 comedy, Barbie, zoomed out shot, a Barbie doll like Margot Robbie on the beach in a pink 1957 Corvette captured by a UHD camera, film directed by Greta Gerwig, realistic natural light, and then there's the aspect ratio. And then it comes up with this description, which is actually the prompt. Do the same thing all over again. To make it shorter, then your follow-up step would be the same thing. Write it out in the simple format like initial examples. Once you do that we come over here and we come out with the final prompt there we go and then that is the actual prompt that i used to create all these images that i showed you guys earlier so it works pretty good now with that said this prompt does take a little bit of practice it is on the more advanced and complex side but if you follow it step by step you're gonna get a pretty good image. Now try different variations or try different things. I'll actually include two links in my description. I'm gonna include the link to this Twitter feed right here that you saw today for Linus. I'll also include the link in my description to my page to where you can copy and use these prompts one by one and prompt by prompt. But thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out. But until then, we'll see you next time. I'm